the theories who to spill some theories. So everyone, are you ready for yet another theory spill? I sure am. Quick reminder that this video contains spoilers. If you haven't played any of the Little Nightmares games, I suggest you look away. You have been warned. Also, these gameplays aren't mine. All rightful owners have been linked down below. Alright, hope you enjoy the video. Today's theory spill is a little different from usual. Usually, it's more about talking about theories that I believe happened in a certain situation or who I think a certain character truly is. In this video, I will mostly discuss about what I personally would like to see and what the public could also want to see in a possible Little Nightmares 3. As much as I would love to see a Little Nightmares 3, it is most likely not going to happen. Tarjir Studio stated that they would rather part ways with the Little Nightmares series and focus on other IPs. However, Ben Dynamco hasn't completely given up on Little Nightmares. Cheer up, the possibilities for there to be a Little Nightmares 2 DLC aren't zero, so I will talk about something I would like to see in a possible DLC also. A possible storyline I would absolutely love to see is the Runaway Kids's. Because of the Little Nightmares DLC, we know how his life ends, but we really don't know anything about where he came from. How did he end up in the Maw? Did he get recruited by the ferryman to bring him over to the Maw like he did with Six? Was he possibly born on the Maw to unknown parents? Was it possibly the Hanging Man? These are all questions I would want answered with a Little Nightmares 3 storyline about the origin of the Runaway Kid. I mean, his name does state he is a runaway. Could he have possibly run away from home? Another cool storyline would be the ladies. To understand what I am going to talk about, I strongly suggest you go watch a short theory I made about Six being a lady. Keyword A, not D. Click on the little icon in the corner to view it. In this storyline, I would want to see how the lady we see in the first Little Nightmares became what she is. In the video I made about Six being a lady, I stated that I believe Six becomes the next Lady of the Maw after killing the previous one and taking her powers. But how did the lady that Six killed even become a lady in the first place? Was she an innocent child before and made the same mistakes Six did to become a lady herself? Could the girl in the yellow raincoat that we play as in Very Little Nightmares be an old version of the current lady? We really don't know. One last storyline I would like to see is the janitors. To me, the janitor is this character camouflaged as a bad person when in reality there's more good meaning to his character. I expressed in an old video of mine that I believe the janitor is an older version of the blindfold kid. This was hinted to me because the janitor has long arms. The blindfold kid got kidnapped through a TV just like Six did. Six ended up in the signal tower and became a temporary host. I thought that the same thing happened to the blindfold kid. When Six evolved into Monster Six, her arms became longer, just like the janitor and Thin Man, who were both hosts of the signal tower. I would love to see the aftermath of the blindfold kid's escape of the signal tower and how he made it to the maw. Maybe he was captured as a child and was kept captive like all the children aboard the maw. Was he a slave? How did he become a part of the employees of the maw? I would love to see this. Let's not forget that for there to be a third storyline, there needs to be a brand new edition of Little Nightmares. I came up with three monsters and I even tried to draw them. Quick PSA that I'm not an artist. You know, I draw for fun, but I don't do it professionally. First of all, I came up with a character called the Miner. We would see him in an open mine, mining some rocks and wandering around. His weapon is a pickaxe he uses to smash anything that moves. His mouth would be sewn shut. Why? Hmm, maybe he talks too much to certain people about certain topics. Chains are wrapped around his neck and leg. He wears a hard hat with a light attached to it, making it easy for this monstrosity to spot any uninvited guests. The second monster I came up with is the Fisherman. This guy would be seen close to a small lake trying to catch some fish. Or are they fish? I believe he prefers children over fish. His weapon is obviously his fishing rod. His back is forever bent into this position, 
making it easy for this guy to spot anything that moves behind his back. His mouth is twisted into this huge smile that exposes his rotten teeth. Let's not forget his tiny creepy eyes. The third and last one is named the babysitter. I unfortunately didn't have time to draw this one, but I'll try to explain what she'd look like. She would have this really long hair that goes down to the bottom of her back. She would have no mouth and huge eyes. She'd be seen holding pacifiers and baby bottles. Something interesting about her is that she would have no legs, but long and strong arms. So she'd be seen crawling exorcist style across the floor. Let's finally talk about a possible Little Nightmares 2 DLC. What is most likely going to happen is a story about one or multiple comic kids. I am certain Tharsier Studios and Ben Nynamco made the comic app for a reason. I've stated before that I believe every kid in Little Nightmares eventually grows up to become one of the monsters that we encounter. I'll state real quickly what I believe every kid becomes. The pigtails girl becomes the teacher. The lollipop kid becomes the hunter. Contrary to popular beliefs, I don't think the hunter is the ghost kid. The blindfold kid becomes the janitor. Mono becomes thin man. The runaway kid becomes a shadow kid. And six becomes a lady. But of course, what do you think? Once again, this is purely based on what I believe and what I researched. You always have room to decide what you believe is true and what isn't. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment on some of your theories. Take care and I will see you guys soon for more theory spills.